text. It was it was an extension of me. It was my soul basically reproduced the music. But me and my friends, we wanted we went further. We wanted the harder stuff. I mean, first time you hear "Possess Seven Churches," hello. <laughs> you can't go back with your Iron Maiden. <laughs> But Seven Churches was the big, big deal. I even uh, made out with the black and red the cardboard, you know. Uh, I don't know, uh, bricolage we say in French, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I made this huge possessed uh, logo to put on my uh, bedroom wall. Uh, and circus and hit parader pages, I mean, you couldn't see paint anymore on the walls. I discovered uh, hard rock when I was 10 years old. And it completely changed my mind when I first heard uh, Volume 4, which was my first Black Sabbath album. Uh, I have found yet another world where I could withdraw into and, and uh, I could completely identify with. It's in 1975 when I first heard that on, on a tape. I had never ever heard anything like that. It was, it was utterly dark. I mean, there, it was a bottomless pit, that music. And, and I, could, I, had, I identified with that from the very first second I heard that. It was magic. Kelly Frost was like, you know, to me, the next step from Venom, because I'm Venom one of my, my favourite bands ever, you know. Uh, but so I wanted more, and, and then Celtic Frost came along with the, you know. Also, I was a bit young and impressionable, so the Satan thing, I was like, you know, their sound was more raw, and, and even though it was metal, it was kind of basic, and actually appealed to a lot of the, the my, my friends who were punks. They, it, it, it kind of bridged the gap, gap in it in a weird way. Then the first single I bought with my own pocket money was uh, Queen Seven Seas of Rye. Then I discovered Kiss, and then the life-changing moment in '79 when I seen Judas Priest, and that was it. The the fate was sealed. The amount of people I've met over the years who have said, "Oh man, you changed my life," and all this kind of stuff, and I'm in the, I'm in a band because of you, you know. But I would say the same thing to KK Downing from Judas Priest. You ch in 1979, you changed my fucking life. I seen you on stage and went, "Ah, I want to do that. That's what I want to be," you know. And to the point where, you know, I've got no shame in saying I modelled myself on KK Downing. You know, straight to the chemist, bottle of bleach, buy, buy a flying V and that was it, you know. <laughs>